grocery haul, guys. Showing y'all a little overview. If you want to see like a play-by-play -play of each ingredient or each item, you can slow down this video and take it upon yourself to look. But pretty good little haul today. Got some fun stuff in here. Matt, don't let me forget to tell him about the uh, roast. What that's for. Okay. All right, so it's Friday. I told you guys last night that I would tell y'all about the, the roast. But first, let me show you the sunrise. Isn't that awesome? I just take for granted how beautiful it is. Tomorrow, my brother is getting married. Married. It's a pretty big deal. If you guys don't know, he's only one year older than me. He's the only boy in amongst my siblings. I'm one of four kids. He's getting married to Jen. You guys have seen both of them in vlogs before. The sweetest, the best person for him. We're so excited to have her in the family, but he's getting married tomorrow. So tonight is the rehearsal dinner. We're going to this restaurant. It's a fancy Italian restaurant. And my mom, who is, it's really cool that she did this. She called ahead and checked to see what options, what food options didn't include any animal products in it. Cause she, wanted us to be able to eat something. Apparently that restaurant cooks everything in butter, cheese in everything. So none of their roasted vegetables are vegan. They're gonna have a salad and there's these roasted fingerling potatoes that don't have any butter in them. They're cooked with oil. Well, she also recommended what we do is just bring like a, a main dish with us. That's where this little guy comes in. <laughs> So I'm gonna cook this uh, this afternoon and portion it out into Tupperware. And like a bro, I'm gonna bring some protein with us to dinner. I don't think they'll say anything, just it being a wedding party, we're gonna have a lot of people be making them a lot of money. So if they say anything, I'm just gonna eat it anyway. I don't really care. So I've got everything prepared for today. I'm gonna head to the rock gym. Side note, um, I did have to go to the doctor yesterday. I have a small kidney infection, fun. Really, really fun. On antibiotics for the next five days, I've already taken two two pills. The doctor said that I can I can exercise as, as I feel I want to, but just don't push it really hard. Didn't lift yesterday. I, I might do some light stuff at the rock gym today, um, and then I'm gonna climb. So nothing intense. Um, I had to get my cycle class covered yesterday just because I was not feeling up to it. It gets worse at night. Hopefully, That'll be all gone. I just want to feel good for the wedding this weekend. Really excited about the wedding. I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna get some footage, we'll see. Um, I'm in the wedding, so I don't want to uh, distract too much from the day. So if there's no footage, I apologize, but if there is, I hope you guys enjoy. And let me show you breakfast. Let's go to the gym. Made it early enough to the rock gym for free coffee. So they have it in the mornings for like specific members. Nobody here. Nobody. It's gonna be a good day. What we're gonna do, I want you to pay attention to what she's doing right Okay. Now. The flyer's job is all counterbalance. I'm gonna bend my knees to you. Okay. Ready to grab hands? Okay, so make sure.
is Dave. Hi. What What do you do exactly? What is it uh, called? Fun. I do stuff. Uh, acro. This is acro. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I try to do everything. Okay. And he does everything here at Crux. <laughs> you guys see this? Okay. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> Excited about tonight and tomorrow? We're gonna be mad just watching cat videos. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Are you excited? Yes. I'm excited to feel better. Here's that boys. Why do you get so close whenever I try to film you? You get into my crotch, but we can't film you if You're too close. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Back to it. <laughs> Ready, boys? He's gonna get his exercise. Go! Working on the uh, roast and the gravy. Our feast. It actually smells really Morning, good. guys. So it's Sunday and the wedding is over, and it was so much fun. And I did not get any footage. I didn't even take my camera. I was part of the bridal party, so I just wanted to get ready with the girls and make sure Jen had a good day. And I think she did. It was just a wonderful wedding. Matt, did you have fun? It was fun. It was a lot of fun. We danced. I did get some Snapchats, so I'm gonna insert those here for you guys. A few pictures and a few snaps of just some of the dancing and some of the fun. So I'm gonna put those right here. All right guys, I've got a little confession to make. <laughs> this weekend was my brother's wedding. As you guys saw some of the clips, we had an amazing time. In regards to my programming and macros, 
First of all, I haven't lifted since last Wednesday because I've been dealing with my kidney infection. I feel so much better, by the way. I don't like having to take prescriptions or anything like that, but sometimes I do feel that they're necessary because otherwise I could have ended up with some serious, serious health consequences had I ignored a kidney infection. Feeling a lot better. I'm actually about to head to the gym right now, but I wanted to sit down and talk with you guys for the end of this episode about inconsistencies. Something that's very reoccurring on my channel. I talk about this a lot because it's so relevant to me and so many others in this journey. We all have slip ups. We all have bad days. I had a bad weekend, but I don't consider it a bad weekend because I spent so much time with family and loved ones. Friday, we had a rehearsal dinner. We were very surprised to find that the restaurant we went to had a bunch of vegan options after all. So you guys know that I brought our little roast with us. We had it under the table. One of our waiters, uh, Matt had mentioned something. He had asked about the bread. He asked if there was any dairy or eggs or butter in the bread. I said, no, we're, we just don't eat those products, we're vegan. And he said, oh yeah, yeah, the bread's vegan. He said, let me actually go check with the kitchen. I think we have a few more options coming out that you guys will be able to eat. So along with the amazing, amazing bread that you dip in oil, there was a uh, pasta, so the little round noodles with a marinara sauce and stewed tomatoes that was fabulous, that was vegan. So we had that. And then he offered to bring out a plate of roasted vegetables for us during the meal itself. When everybody else was eating the animal products, we, he brought out a huge, huge plate of amazing roasted vegetables. On top of that, I put some of the roast on my plate because I was feeling really rambunctious. Well, my brother looked at my plate and he said, you're not gonna be able to eat all that. I'll bet you 20 bucks you can't eat it all. So of course I'm like, done, <laughs> challenge accepted. I forgot that I had eaten bread and pasta already and I had a huge plate of veggies and roasted potatoes. <laughs> totally forgot about that too. I had seriously a huge plate of it and everyone was like, what the hell? You're not gonna be able to eat it all? And I'm like, challenge accepted. You guys keep doubting me. I couldn't eat it all. So, but I tried, I tried. I got pretty close. And then Matt and I got home and we were feeling kind of snacky. So we had Oreos and cereal. And then the wedding was the next day and I was part of the bridal party and um, Jen's mom had ordered lunch for us and I had a roasted vegetable sandwich with a vegan burger patty along with some vegan cookies that she had ordered for me. So I ate all of that and then we had veggie fajitas with chips and guac and salsa for the night and then we had some desserts and it was just so, so good. And long story short, I'm gonna try to make this clip not too crazy long, um, I overate a lot and some of my old habits came back in and and if you haven't been watching the channel for a while i have struggled with binge eating in the past and the the mentality of i'm not going to get this food again whenever i start back on my diet so i might as well eat as much as i can now and then i'm just going to get back on it tomorrow or monday as it turned out um, i didn't binge um, I, I wouldn't consider it a binge, but it was just a period of falling back into that old mentality of, well, I'm not going to be able to eat this much cereal whenever I start tracking my macros again, or, you know, I, Oreos aren't really worth it whenever I'm tracking my macros, so I might as well have five or six of them tonight. So that's what it turned into Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I overate all three days no fucks given. Um, and what I plan to do about it now, you guys, is absolutely nothing. And the video post Christmas that I had about this topic, about overeating and coming in heavier, you know, my weight's up on the scale, of course, but I'm not gonna punish myself. I refuse to punish myself anymore with cardio or restrictions. So I'm going to accept that some fat gain is most likely happening. Um, I'm going to accept that my pants are going to be a little tight right now. I'm going to be a little bit uncomfortable because of overeating, but I'm seriously accepting it and moving on with my life. And I encourage you guys to do that same thing because it helps you to realize that food does not dictate who you are as a person and it shouldn't dictate your life. Um, I enjoyed every second of this weekend. I enjoyed every bit of food that I had, whether it was overindulgence or not. Previously, had I been eating that stuff, I would have been overridden with guilt as I ate it. Almost like you're trying to hide it from others and from yourself because you know, I shouldn't be eating this, this doesn't fit my macros or it's not in my diet. 
you know, and, and just try and eat it and, and pretty much numb yourself to those, to those feelings of guilt and shame. But I ate it and I was like, this is good. <laughs> this cereal is awesome. These Oreos are awesome. You know, this, this huge plate of food is, is amazing. And that is a huge step forward to me because although I am eating more than I needed to, you know, more than my body needed to, I wasn't hungry, but a huge step in recovery is just accepting it and accepting that these things happen. I'm not perfect. You know, I, I don't have physique goals at this time and that's okay that I have some extra food. I'm gonna go and deadlift like I've never deadlifted before and we're gonna climb tonight. So I'm gonna try and utilize every extra calorie as fuel, but I'm not going to punish myself and I refuse to do that anymore. So I just wanted to maybe open up a discussion with you guys. So if it's something that you're struggling with, if you want to um, chat in the comments, I'm here, I'm happy to chat. You know, if you struggle with these things, leave some encouragement for friends below, um, for others that might be struggling with these things, how you are able to move forward with your life after overeating or after a binge. I would love to read it in the comments below. But I just wanted to touch on that with you guys because it's something that I still struggle with. I haven't posted about, you know, overeating or binging in a while, but it's still there. And I plan to move on with my life and fill my day with wholesome and micronutrient dense foods because that's what I feel best on. And I'm just gonna move on with life. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really, really appreciate anybody watching this video. Hit that thumbs up. Let me know that you like these videos or if any of these chats resonated with you guys. Thumbs up, comment, share with friends. Subscribe if you haven't yet and I will see y'all on Wednesday. Pfft. <laughs>